Edit your own damn movie was filmed in front of a live studio audience. From beautiful Tromaville, New Jersey, it's the Troma System. Editing the Troma way. Edit your own damn movie with your host, Troma's editor, Travis Campbell. <laughs> Greetings from Tromaville. I'm Travis Campbell, Troma's head editor and director of Troma's Mr. Bricks, a heavy metal murder musical coming soon this fall to theaters near you. Uh, Lloyd wants me to edit, uh, edit your own damn movie and I'm out of ideas and it's due and I have no idea what I'm doing or thinking and all they give me for inspiration is this cheap bottle of cough syrup. <laughs> Lloyd? <laughs> Edit your own damn movie, edit your own damn movie, Jumbo. Fucking He wants me to make a lesson on how to edit, how do you teach that? Oh, I just, you know what I need to do? I need to talk to some, to someone on the trauma team. That's what I need to do. Wolf dog food, the dog food that makes your puppy work. Dog keeps barking because he wants his food. <sighs> hmm? The Toxic Avenger Five! Coming soon to a theater near you. Editing is easy. Talk about things that everyone wants to know. Continuity. <laughs> One of the most important things of editing is eye lines. As you can see here, Lloyd Kaufman is talking to director Samuel Wheel, who is not Lloyd Kaufman. Lloyd is looking to his left. Samuel is looking to his right. It looks like they're having a conversation. This is correct. Now let's take a look at an example that is wrong. As you can see here, Lloyd is looking to his left. So is Samuel. This appears they are looking in two different directions, thus not really having a conversation. Remember, eyelines are really important. So now you know, editing the trauma way. Don't even worry about editing it. Just interview some editing interns. <laughs> Get their opinion on the trauma way and just splice it in there whenever. It doesn't have to make sense. Greetings from Tromaville. <laughs> My name is James Petty. Rio Mitchell. Aaron. I'm an editing intern here at uh, Trauma Team Studios. Uh, you know, I just sort of stumbled upon it on the, on the good old Craigslist there. And wonderful things that I have learned uh, during my time here from these wonderful men. I've learned that editing is for a very specific kind of person that wants to be locked in a dark room all day and watch the same footage over and over and over and over. What I learned so far about editing at Troma. It's all about finagling when working with what you got and uh, 
make it work. You've got to really love the people that you're you're editing because I just stare at this guy schnoz all day. <laughs> Honestly, though, log your clips. One of the most important things of editing is organization, especially when it comes to logging. If your clips are out of order or named wrong, it could cause problems down the line. Tell them, Rio. Log your clips really well because otherwise you'll lose them all. I have deleted so many things and not meant to. Uh, mostly big nose clips. You should keep everything in bins. And you can color code your clips in bins if need be. Organization is just one of the tools for fine editing. Now you know, editing the trauma way. <laughs> Let's see here. What's rolling around in the old toxic noggin? Oh, have you ever heard of kill your darlings? Darling? <laughs> no, no, no. It's an expression used in film. Let's say you have a scene or shot that you really, really love. If it weighs down the movie, doesn't make sense, or inappropriate, it's gotta go. You know, kind of like the content for this whole video. <laughs> In industry jargon, it's called, kill your darlings. an example of killing your darlings. Lloyd Kaufman shot this shot for Poultry Geist, Night of the Chicken Dead with Ron Jeremy. He did it in one what take, and it was fabulous. But at the end of the day, no. it just and didn't work for the movie. So remember, if a shot doesn't work, it's time to kill your darlings. Now you know how to edit the trauma way. Editing interns. Editing interns. One thing I'd like to tell people out there who are learning how to edit is always monitor your audio levels. Editing interns. Hello, I'm Andrew, and being an editing intern at Tromaville, I've learned that no matter what you're editing, pacing and rhythm is key. Editing interns. Oh. I mean, you may have headphones, you may have, you know, speakers, be, maybe listening to it, but people always fool around with that, especially if you're using, I don't know, like an editing bay at your school. Other people have turned the volume up, other people have turned the volume down. Always monitor your levels. They should be roughly around 12 decibels, negative 12 decibels. Editing in... One thing I've learned when it comes to working with Lloyd and Tromaville is that if you do a piece that's as short as two minutes, he'll still ask you to do many, 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 many drafts. You got ripped off! <laughs> but it makes you realize how uh, refined you need to get a piece. That's one of the key components that's going to engage the audience. I've been making movies for a long time, and I haven't run across anything that's quite like the trauma system. And if you're at all interested in movies or the world of entertainment and show business, I couldn't recommend anything more than Troma System. Check it out. I hope you learned your lesson. Next time, pay attention. And now my traumatons are tingling for more dog food commercials. Now please get out of my house before I crush your head.
This is Didi Ramon of the Ramones. I'd like to say thank you to the trauma system. The system works!